Today was hair wash day, so I went ahead and washed my hair. I have a lot of air dry while I did my makeup. If you like my makeup, I have a whole video for that coming. But I am trying out the volumizing series from Pharmacy, the Dr. C Tuna. And it is sulfate free, paraben free, mineral free, formaldehyde free, gluten free, triclose. This word? Triclosoclane free. <laughs> so to me, that means it's good for my color, it's good for my extensions, it's really healthy. Um, so far I'm really liking how full the top, like my hair looks and how shiny and nice my extension hair looks. So and it smelled really great. So I am happy with that. Then after I get out of the shower, so I wash twice. I did wash once with my Bondi Boost shampoo since I only had a sample size of that. And then I have put, it's a 10, wet brushed it out and I'll show you how I style it. First, I'm gonna use this blow dryer. I have this linked in my Amazon storefront. I like it. It was affordable. It has the blue light. Let me show you. Which is a little bit better for your hair. It is not as powerful as some, but that's okay because I like it to not dry out my hair. So I go ahead and blow dry it all the way. One tip I've always told people and was told myself is once you think it's dry, dry it for two more minutes. You want your hair completely dry before you put any heat on it. Normally, I would let my hair totally air dry and then style it tomorrow, but we're going to a marriage conference tonight, so I need to do it all today. Step one, I take what's down, and since I have extensions, I go to the bottom left, or you're just gonna go to the low bottom section, if you don't have extensions, and clip the rest up. Then I take what's down and split it in half, which I already kinda was, and then I take a section. You wanna take a section, the bigger your section, the looser the curl. And the more accurate to the size of the barrel, the more of the curl you're gonna get. So I try to take about a one and a half inch section. I start at the top. See that clip? See the bend? I'm gonna go away from my face. I hate leaving heat on that one. <laughs> it stresses me out. And then I'm gonna ribbon it around once, leaving this tail down. This is, this is the trick. Now you're gonna Swoop your hand out, leave it like that, and you're going to do it again. This is only if you have long hair. You're going to do this however many times you need to for your length of hair. Let it warm up, then you're going to twirl it down. The key is really loose. Tension, and then on this last one, you're going to pull straight. Okay, so you got this really like curly, curly cue. You're going to grab the next one. Let's do that again. Away from the face, pull down, curl. And I'm hitting this to loosen tension so I can move the rod down. So I'm hit, 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 tighten. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. Then I'm gonna flick it around, flick it around. Now I have a new thing. Loose, loose, loose. Curl, curl, curl. Let it heat up. Flick it around, flick it around, probably one more, because I like my ends straight, let it curl, I'm gonna loosen it, and then pull down. Okay, and we're gonna keep doing this. I do the first row away from my face, and the second row, I go towards my face. So I'll show you that. One thing I'll tell you too, you're gonna to wanna to keep this in the up position to be the most comfortable instead of trying to come at it at a bunch of different angles. See how I'm holding it vertically? Okay, now that bottom section is done, we're not touching it, we're gonna let them cool off, but we are going to spray with a healthy, touchable hairspray. I'm running out, so I need hairspray. Now we're gonna take our next section. I like to do this in three sections. Well, probably more now, because I have, this is all my hair, so I'm gonna go into my whiff just a little bit. Actually, no, okay, I'm gonna separate just my hair out, and we'll do the next weft. Same thing, and part it down the middle at that, that just ensures that you're not getting hair left behind. Now around my face, I always do away from my face, but then the next one I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go in a different direction. 
but I like the around my face to be away from my face. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so now the next little section, and you can see you're gonna pull whatever straight, right? And sometimes you'll have to go back and touch up a few places, and that's okay. So now we're showing you barrel like this. We're gonna go complete 180. And we're gonna curl towards the face, doing the same thing, but your muscle memory is gonna trick you a little bit since it's now opposite of what you were doing. But we're doing the same thing, flick it out. What this is gonna do when you do the opposite direction, it's gonna keep your curls from getting caught in each other. You know how sometimes you have, you curled everything and it all looks separate like this and then you brush through it and, um, they start going into each other, so it just looks like one big curl. This is gonna prevent that from happening. So then that way your hair stays a little bit fuller, more beachy looking, and it stays separated curls. Um, now I will say I'm not the best at getting it right the next day. So usually I'm just touching up around my face, which I already know I go away from my face in that, so <laughs> it's not that big a deal. And if I have to touch up everything, then I just do my best. A lot of people like to do every other uh, like curl each way. That just gets to be too much for me. I forget which way I went the last time because <laughs> my memory sucks. So doing it in different rows has seemed to be enough for me. And you're always going to be like stronger at doing a side than the other. It's just the way it works. So this is always my easier, better side. This one's usually my more difficult side. I'm gonna go towards my face. With these clip barrels, you just want to clip the way you're turning. If that makes sense. Otherwise you're gonna end up with that crank, kinkle. And then just barely hitting this thing loosens it so you can move. That's another helpful hint. Now, if you don't get the pulling it through to make it straight thing down very good, you can just pull out your flat iron and straighten your ends as much as you want. The straighter ends just gives it that more carefree. Oh my gosh, that scared me. <laughs> I was scratching on my cupboard and it was the Velcro from my blow dryer. I thought it was a bug. Anyways, doing the straight ends gives it that more beachy, carefree look. Not so polished. And that is what I'm going for today. Gives it like, oh, I just pulled my hair out of a braid coming from Malibu. And this is my hair. I learned this curl from a hairdresser friend of mine. Her name is Julia. She calls it the Julia curl because she kind of created it in a sense or she uses it a ton so people think it's her so now this is all my hair and the top hair so i section out my like bang area and this section i do try to do every other curl an opposite way again the section closest to my face i always curl away from my face and even though it's shorter hair i'll show you you can get a couple of spins out of it and pull down. Let's see. Even though it's shorter, it worked out. Now I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to go towards my face. Spray everything with the hairspray. Now the very top, like your bangs fringe section. Now this whole thing, I go away from my face. I just feel like that's the most flattering and that's what I like. So this one I start at the very back of it. Guys, this is a feat doing this in my camera. The closer you get to the root, the more volume you're going to have. Now this very, very front, you pull forward and you're going to curl 
probably just bend it, pull out, being careful not to burn your face, set it aside. Now I'm gonna let this all cool. I did go through and look, like I do this and see, do I have anything straight? Like these are a little straighter than I like, so I go ahead and curl anything else that I missed. Turn your curling iron off and unplug it, just so you don't stress out later. Okay, now if it's cool to the touch, it's good to just run your fingers through and see how it gives all that fun, beachy texture. It doesn't stay in these little ringlets. You can separate it out. You can back comb back here if you would like to. I am. Let me grab my thing. I use a pick. Just go like this. I don't do the most back combing. I just do some. And then I'm just taking a texturizing hairspray and putting this through. And the curls like this will last me quite a few days. Um, I do have to touch up like the front, the parts that I mess with. But I only wash my hair about once a week. And I touch up the rest. I braid it at night or I put it in a low pony to kind of protect. But this is it. This is the final hair. I hope you like that. Almost everything I used is linked in my bio under either pharmacy or Amazon. So I hope this helped. Let me know. Tag me if you do this little hair tutorial. Um, it's super fun. And so hope you're having a great day. Bye, guys.